who get a copy of this recording are the people who commented in the question box. So boom, that is the reason why I wanted you to find that question box because you'll get a copy of today's recording. Now you won't get it for 24 hours from now. So do know tonight, if you don't get it, I didn't forget you, it'll be tomorrow, but do understand you might wanna review these things over and over again, speed me up, slow me down, pass other items and review, and you'll have that in a recording, but only for those who have found the question box, okay? so. All right, so anyway, let's make sure you find that question box. Yes, Amy, absolutely. So let's definitely, you know, again, talk to the Google partner who invited you because they are the closest connection that you have there and they can assist you. But what we're gonna be talking about today is really powering up your job search and giving you the tools that are already there available to you that are 100% free. If you are tweeting or posting, then you can use the hashtag grow with Google. It will let the Google team know this matters to you. And I like to encourage the, my fellow team members to create more like this because I see the value and helpfulness this is to people who don't even realize they have these tools available to you. You can of course find me on all socials. You can see me here. This is where I'm most active is on Twitter, but I'm on all socials. So just choose, choose which one you like. But you can see me here on Twitter at Maria Duran. You can connect with me there or on Instagram, Maria Elena Duran. Now feel free to connect me there. And if you tag me and use the hashtag grow with Google, I'll be happy to retweet or repost or share in my stories anything that you say to get you a little bit of visibility. All right. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna to talk today about how you can track your job search. It's very important to track that because this is where people lose out on job searches. I see people who are very well qualified, but they don't get there in time. So timing is everything. Isn't that just the song of anything that happens? But timing is critical. And a lot of times we as job searchers get all caught up in finding information like what was that phone number where I worked at before? What's that address? What's the last name of that supervisor? We're looking for all of this information while opportunity is slipping us by. You heard me recently say, I just interviewed somebody and gave them an offer yesterday. Then three people that I brought on on Monday. Let me tell you how everything went down. We went ahead and put all the, the, the opportunities out on LinkedIn everywhere that it was possible to send that out. The people who replied and sent their resume in in the first 14 minutes, in the first 14 minutes, we received 174 resumes, 174. That's when I stopped. At 174, 14 minutes, it was only those who applied in the first 14 minutes that had the opportunity. So this is why I say timing is everything. And sometimes what we might have is perfect. We've got everything together in the information, but the window of opportunity has closed. So we'll talk about how you can track your job search in Google Sheets. Find opportunities with Google Search. You've got such a powerful search engine there available to you. So how do you use this and keep it working for you so you can spend more time jumping into those windows of opportunity. We're gonna talk about how you can create a resume with Google Docs, how you can do a strong interview with Google Meet. Let me know in the question box if you've ever used Google Meet. I'd love to know who actually has used it. And if you haven't, I do wanna introduce you to it because everything that I'm talking about today, 100% is free, okay? Every single thing is free. And then of course, I always like to end things with free, even more free resources and how you can level up your game, okay? So use it weekly. All right, Jennifer, I love it too. It's such a great tool. So a lot of people don't realize they have that available to them. It works so like Zoom and I will tell you more about it as we go through our session. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, it works like Zoom, but it is free. So you don't have to worry about any costs. So let's start first with the foundation of a job search. You need to track your job search in Google Sheets because a lot of times where people lose their time is in trying to find all information. In fact, on any given day, it takes us about 15 minutes to search for something that we've lost. And I actually think it takes more time than that, okay? I think 15 minutes is very small compared to how, how many times I've misfiled something on the desktop of my computer or within my Google Drive or wherever I'm at, even on my actual physical desktop. So I think it takes more than 15, but on average, they say it takes about 15, which means in the course of the year, in the course of one year, you lose two weeks, 10 days. So 10 business days, so two business weeks, you, use ten, you lose 10 days to searching for things. Imagine if you just ten, got 10 days back, right? So part of your search in job search is being 
and being able to get into that window of opportunity. So time is everything. If you have a Gmail account, you have a Google account, you are good to go. When you sign in there, you have access to all the tools, but you do not have to have a Gmail account to access all these tools. You can go to this URL here at the bottom left-hand corner that you see. If you want to screenshot that, I'll get the red dot out of the way, but you can sign up for a free Google account, which means you keep your email, whatever it is. If you like it, everything's there, then not to worry. You will use Use that create a password and like any other password protected site online that's what you'll use to log in okay so you'll use this to create a free Google account so let me show you what it looks like when you're in a free Google account I'm going to throw this up here and make it a little bit bigger I know I'm broadcasting I do like to do practical exercises here so you see this so if you're in a Gmail account this is my trainer demo account if you're in a Gmail account, you'll see this is what it looks like, except with email in it. And then you can go to what's known as the Google App Keypad, and you can see the access that you have. These are all the free tools that you have access to within your Google account, all right? Now, if you don't want a Gmail account because you're all into your, your own email address, and that's not to worry, you will set up a Google account, a free Google account. And what that looks like, is this so when you're in a google account and you don't have a gmail account i'm going to make this bigger because i'm broadcasting you will see it looks like this so you don't see an inbox or anything like that you just see this but you could see that google app keypad here having access to all the free google tools and if you want to know what other google tools are available to you all you need to do is click more here so it's at the very bottom of the list when you click on this app keypad at the very bottom of the list if you click on more from google you can now toggle to the bottom. So just scroll all the way to the bottom here and you'll see all the free tools you have access to, okay? All the Google tools. All right, so let's show you what it looks like once you've logged into your account, all right? So once you've done that, going back to the slides here, you're going to click on the Google Apps menu. That's that app keypad. We trainers lovingly call it the app waffle because it looks like a waffle make you a little bit hungry before lunch here but yes that's where you can find it and you're looking for google drive google drive is a free storage area kind of like your dropbox and what you do or maybe you know with your OneDrive, it's where you can actually save things up to 15 gigabytes absolutely free and you don't even have to have a program associated with that so you're going to click on google drive and the reason i'm bringing you here first is because people when they start putting Google Docs and Google Sheets together they don't know where it's saved well it's saved here in your Google Drive just so that you're clear and you know Google Docs works just like Microsoft Word Google Sheets works just like Microsoft Excel and Google Slides works just like PowerPoint it's a hundred percent free with any free personal Gmail or Google account so what you're looking for now is a Google Sheet. Remember, I said that works like a spreadsheet, like the Excel spreadsheet. When you're in Drive, you're going to click New. And when you click New, it will bring down this drop-down menu. You're going to click on Blank Spreadsheet. So let me show you what that looks like in real time. So when I click on the App Keypad, remember it's here. If you have a free Google account or if you have a Gmail account, you can click here. I'm going to click on the primary color, Drive. Where did my drive go? Oh, right here, the first thing, right? So the primary color triangle is the Google Drive. I'll click on here first. When I click on there, now it will show the drive where everything's stored. Again, I'll make this bigger because I'm broadcasting. And when you click new, and now you go to, you'll see that drop down menu up here. You'll see Google Sheets, hover on over to the arrow here, and then blank spreadsheet or from a template will come up just so that you know when you say blank spreadsheet this is what happens is it opens up a blank spreadsheet that you can work with okay and you'll see this at the very top it looks very familiar if you're you familiar with excel spreadsheets if you want a template again going from now a free google account you can click drive you can click new you can click google sheets or hover over it and say from a template and you even have all of these 100% free templates available to you that you can use where formulas are already laid out because I know in a lot of small businesses even use this to do their payroll, okay? All right, going back to the slides. Any questions, feel free to use that question box, everybody, okay? And remember, it's everybody who's commented in the question box will get a copy of today's recording. And if you've commented right now, in fact, 
if this is helpful to you or you just want to say a hello, then you'll also get a copy of today's slides, which sometimes people like to use that as a checklist as they're going through and setting everything up. You're welcome to have those, again, 24 hours from now because it takes that much time for the system to render all of this to you, and it will be emailed to the email address that you signed up with. So when you open up Google Sheets, see how it looks like a spreadsheet? You're going to now set things up. You're looking at each of the rectangles are referred to as a, as a cell. So you're looking at cells. Now every cell has their own address. When I say address, take a look here. Everything that's vertical in a spreadsheet is alphabetically actually labeled. So when we look at A, B, C, those are actual columns, right? So everything vertical is a column and it is labeled alphabetically. Everything horizontal is what's known as a row, and it is numbered, one, two, three, four, five. So if I'm looking at where the words job position lay, I am looking at the cell address A1, column A, row one. Make sense? So you can see the columns and you can see the rows here. And you could start filling them out with the information that you're going to actually capture from your job search, because you're gonna do these things in components. We lose a lot of time when we switch gears. And this is truly evident if you've ever been to a daycare center, a preschool or a child's learning discovery center, you'll see that they put things in and group them together. You've got the music center, right? The reading center, the art center, the home working center. They put everything together because it makes it easier to get everything out and to put it back in in a really timely manner. It saves a lot of time as you're making that transition. Well, you're doing the same thing now because you're going to put your job search and tracking of your job search all in one place. Okay, so this is your job search area. Make sense? All right. Yes, they're definitely powerful tools. I definitely agree. So when you organize your job search, for example, you're going job, company, salary, website URL. Where did you find that job? And any notes? Did you really like that? Um, their, you know, their their vacation time was super flexible. Did you really like that you can work remotely or from home? So, what are some of the notes that made you truly like that actual job? So, what this looks like when you're doing this in an actual sheet. So, let's say I brought up a blank sheet right here, and let's say I want to put here in cell A1 job position. I can do that, and then I could say um, URL, I want, even wanted, or company, let's put company here, okay? So let's say I, I label that all the way through. I can also label this Maria's job search. I just go up there, type there. You'll see the only thing different from any of the Microsoft products is there's no save little floppy disk, right? because Google Drive is always saving. You don't ever have to worry. I live in rural West Texas, so I have to worry about um, a lot of power surges and electricity going out, especially when a tornado is coming through and or just a little windy in West Texas. So what happens then is a lot of times if I don't save something, I've had been very much cursed at my computers and words that you don't ever want to hear because of I've lost something. I don't ever have to work, worry about that when I'm working in any of the Google tools because it's always saving. So what I can do is name that here, just hit enter. It saves that. If I want to star it, it shows up now at the top of my Google Drive, making it easy for me to find. And just like you would in an Excel spreadsheet, if you wanted to um, change this, let's say you want to change all the font in this row and you want to highlight the whole row, you just click on the number one and you can highlight and format that to, let's say I like um, Open Sans. I want to change it. Maybe I want to bold everything, and maybe I want to go here and fill that color to that light blue, okay? So you can do all of that, and you can undo it just quickly doing this, or redo it by quickly putting, clicking the arrow forward. So the backward arrow going back this way is how to undo it, and then to redo it, click forward. Make sense? All right. Um, I know exactly. You live in Amarillo. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh, people will see our orange sky, you know, of course the blue, the, the beautiful West Texas sunset, but also sometimes I say that's just La Mesa blowing by, right? Because <laughs> it just gets so windy. So a lot of times that'll knock out exactly what I'm doing online. 
And what I love about the tools is they are always saving. So it is exactly what I've been looking for. So when you format your job search tracker, you're going to put the job, maybe the company, maybe salary, of course, you know, hey, we don't just work for free. And then the website URL of the actual company or where you apply any notes, if you've applied, if you have the interview status, so you can put that there. These are some of the headings that you might want to use. And if you want to screenshot this, so you can work on that already today, as soon as we finish, you're welcome to do that. And of course, tomorrow, for those of you who've commented in the question box, you'll get a copy of the recording and the slides. So you'll have this right in front of you. So how can you find opportunities within Google search? Of course, Google search is a big search engine. So if you just go to google.com or if you by default have Google where you land when you log online, then you can just go to jobs near me and it'll pick up all the jobs within your actual location. So it'll look near you if that's important, especially if you have to worry about taking kiddos and then also trying to juggle picking up or getting to work and then picking them up afterwards from after school programs or daycare, whatever you need to do, it might be very important that it's near you or you just have limited transportation so it's important it's near you okay so you might want to look at jobs near you when you do that actually Google will give you exactly what you're looking for near you location so let's say you're near San Francisco California and it'll show you all of these different jobs you have available that are within what's considered that local area so again it's looking specifically by location and geography and you can begin that job search by exploring exactly these job categories. Maybe you wanna work from home. Maybe you're interested in part-time or full-time or the latest job search that became available. So let me show you this in real time, okay? Let's see, uh, hired, I uh, hid, not hired, I hid my sheet here. All right, there we go. So if we go to google.com, all right. And let's say jobs, is that big enough? Sometimes I wonder, yeah, sometimes it goes down 100%. There we go. So if I go to jobs near me, remember what I said, I'm at the base of the panhandle, so I am in Midland, Texas. Now I don't really want you to know where I'm at right now. You'll see everything searching here, and then now you'll see this light blue box area. Those are where it's pulling from. A little over 4,500 different sites to bring you the latest jobs. So it truly is a search engine. Now you can look here and you can see, okay, um, well, there's a traveling nurse, um, we need a caregiver, we see all of these things. If you will have no degree, if you're more interested in sales and retail, re restaurant and hospitality, if that's what you'd like to focus on, then it'll focus that way. So let's say I'm looking at sales and retail. You see, once I click on something or anything on that box, it opens up now bigger and gives me all the details of this. I can save it or I can share it if I wanna put that link onto my actual job search sheet, but it gives me the information that I need and where to apply it. Where did that job actually show up so I can apply there, all right? So you could see now exactly what's happening. You could decide that maybe you want, um, let's see, it, you want it posted within the last day. So you're looking for the most recent opportunity there. You can look at that, okay? You can do anything that you want, and when you click this little bookmark here, that actually saves it for you, so you can find it right away. But I like to tell you to put that in here, your actual job search tracking sheet. If you use this link, it'll give you a link that you can actually add there, and you can share that link within your actual job search sheet. So see here where it says copy link? I'll go ahead and copy that link, and now I can put it back on my job search tracker. All right? So. I actually do this and I train people to go through a job search. You know, maybe you do it on Mondays, but I don't want you to lose that window of opportunity. So a lot of times this is the first thing in the morning. First 15, 20 minutes is the job search scroll. You go through everything, you save everything to your sheet, to your tracking sheet. Once you're done, now you're ready for the application process. Remember what I said about discovery centers and preschools and daycares, everything's together. We're job search looking. Because a lot of times when we do this, if we start doing it on the fly as far as, okay, I wanna be a retail sales representative, so now I'm gonna go get, gather all my things and gather my information and my contact information and my recommendations. That time is slipping by and we're also having emotion about it. How many of us have looked and thought, oh, I wonder if so-and-so is still alive. I haven't talked to them lately. Okay, so we lose it when we are losing that window of opportunity. Again, we're taking those side streets. So for example, 
let's say you it didn't appear that you were near you there's anything near you so you can also say jobs that pay well so you can do that here too in addition to doing that in the box you can do that here within google search bar now you can see exactly where you can apply you can apply on linkedin where this actually happens the job type all the company information, you get all that background. Google, remember, is the number one search engine in the world and is bringing all this information to you together. So you don't have to go to LinkedIn and over here and over there because we know time is of the essence, right? We want to get into the most open and most active windows of opportunity every single time. So the more windows for us, the better, the more options. Then you get to choose the job. You can use the filters here to really look at your search results. So choose what you're looking for. If you want something that's a work from home option, so a more remote option, you can also choose that too. Right here, you'll see the work from home positions. So you can click there and now start filtering for that which really helps bring in again everything. Imagine if you had to go to 4,000 different sites to just find all this information. If you don't have a degree, then click no degree and it'll bring you all the positions that are not requiring any degree. Now you don't have to worry about, okay, I found these five wonderful jobs and of four of them, they're requiring a degree and proof of the degree and there's only one. Let Google do all the hard work for you and you don't have to worry about disappointment or having to search and feel like you're being fruitless because everything's right there. Remember what I said about I work a lot with veterans who are transitioning to civilian life or military families that are having to go transition to everywhere all across the world. Well, one of the tools that I love truly within Google search is that you could put veterans jobs near me because some people are looking specifically for a veteran. And the reason being is veterans, anybody in military service has an MOS code that was assigned to them for their job that they're doing in the military. So MOS is military occupation specialty. So we all know in the military, you could be an airman, a captain, um, you can be a sergeant, but you have different jobs there. You know, somebody who's working on a flight line is different from the, somebody who's working at the medical center. So you have different MOS codes, military occupation codes, right? So these military occupation specialty codes, you can just put your code in. All of us in the military, we know our code, our numbers backwards and forwards. We can re recite those instantly. And so you go ahead and put that in there and it will pull up every job that matches your MOS code. So now you can again save that job and apply later, clicking on that little blue bookmark icon, or you can click on the little share icon here to get that link and put that in your job search, searcher tracking sheet, which I highly encourage you to do. Because again, this is giving you more opportunity. Now you can also set alerts. You'll see here that you can set alerts and you can actually decide how often you wanna be alerted. You can decide every week, let me bring this up here actually in real time there. All right, so you can say new job alerts. I'm gonna click on this. And when you click on new job alerts, you could see how you wanna manage it. So you can manage alerts on the alert tab of, let's go here. Do I want it daily? Do I want it instantly? Do I want it weekly? Because I know times of the essence, of the essence, <clears throat> tried to say that too fast, I want instantly. I wanna know as soon as a job hits there, then I have a great opportunity to take action on it right away, all right? So now you can click that link there and set up that alert and now it's emailing you instead of you having to actively go search for it every single time. All right, so you can type all sorts of search terms here. You can also search special words. Google is very familiar with these and it'll help cut your time significantly in your actual job search. Now what's nice is you can also turn filters on and off. So let's say right now you're looking for working from home, but you're also looking for anything close within the, at least the local area. So you can put that on, you can save jobs for later and you can set up those alerts. Those all save you time. And now you can use all of those links that you set up, even an application link. So this could be the business website URL and maybe you have another row here that says application link where you apply when you're ready to apply. But this is where you do all of your research, right? You're doing your intelligence right here, getting all your research. Now that you've done that, you can create a resume. I highly encourage you to create a resume customized to every job that you're applying. The resume is not your autobiography, all right? It's not a chronological history of what you've done. The application is, that's its job to do that. The resume is a highlight reel. 
It is the highlight of the jobs and the skills and the experience that you have that match what you're applying for. That's it. Do not try to send a huge resume in. Most resume readers don't look past the first page. That's the actual AI, so the computer ones as well as real people. Most people, on average, any recruiter or decision maker spends only six seconds looking through resumes. Six seconds. They don't have time to flip over to another sheet or scroll down, okay? So it's really important that you understand it's your highlight reel. It is the biggest jump people have to make when they're job searching because they think it's an autobiography or chronological list of their work history, and it is not. So now when you're using the resume template, you'll go to the drive again. Remember how I always showed you, it's the primary color triangle here that you're looking for. You click on that, but now you're looking at Google Docs. That works just like Word. It's a word processor there. You'll hover over here, and this, and in this instance, you're gonna say from a template okay because when you say from a template it will take office 2016 right <laughs> absolutely so from a template you're going to take this in and you're going to go ahead and bring that in and now once you actually clicked on a template it brings into your google drive so it doesn't change the actual template gallery let me show you what that looks like all right so when i'm in here in my drive all right and i'm going to click on new hover over google docs and i'm going to say from a template and now I have, good, it stayed at 150%. I have all these free templates available to me here that I can use for anything that I want. But in this instance, we want our own resume. So I'm going to click here that I want this coral resume. You see it's bringing it in now into my Google Drive. Now I can save it and call it Maria's resume. And I can put here... Maria Duran, I can put all of that, I can change that so you can replace any gibberish here with any information that's specific now to you, okay, and customize that. Now remember what I said about a resume needs to be and addressed to exactly the position that you're looking for. You want it to make it look like you belong in that position. When somebody reads that, they're gonna not be able to, to hire you right away. Nobody hires directly from a resume. They the the goal and the actual purpose of the resume is to get them to say, tell me more. I want to know more about you. That's why it's a highlight reel. So from this, we want to put all the things that tell them more. What's nice, though, is you don't have to worry about retyping your resume over and over again. What I love about Google Tools is that I can click File here. See that? Make a copy. So click Make a Copy, and now I can make a copy of it. It brings up another tab. I have copied exactly that resume, but now this is Maria's marketing director resume and now i can customize this information to be a marketing director where this one could be maria's sales director resume it's a little bit different the sales and marketing are a little bit different um a profile i use linkedin profile for resume data actually yes that's good as well but remember if it comes longer to keep that in mind so then also something too when you um click here but LinkedIn is a wonderful tool. I love LinkedIn. So when you click here, you can also download it in whatever format you need it at, see? So you don't even have to have and worry about doing this all in Google Drive. But let me caution you that if you download it in Word and you attach it and to send it to somebody in Word or you upload it and send it to somebody in Word format, then you are subject to whatever their settings are of their device. So you could have done a fabulous job laying out your resume, making it look really perfect. It's the highlight reel. You've got all the spaces, the margins going on. Let's say you've got a half an inch and half an inch on the top and bottom and an inch on the left side and the right side. And you send it to somebody and they have an inch on the top and bottom and a half an inch on the left and the right side. Now it's completely messed up all your line breaks, all your spaces, and they see it and they think, wow, this person hasn't even taken a moment to even make sure this looks nice before they send it to me. Why would they take any and put any quality into the job, right? So that's what happens. What you need to do is send it in PDF format. Let, look down here, the PDF format. That stands for Portable Document Format. It flattens everything and it retains the integrity. So it remembers all your margins and everything, and now you can send it in, and it looks just as beautiful as you sent it out, all right? Keep that in mind. All right, so now you can format the resume. You can add that text. You can format that text, even if you want to change the different fonts. 
to make it something easy, re easily read. Remember, you don't want to put a lot of colors in your resume, no more than two colors and no more than two fonts, all right? Because anytime we make shifts like that, then it looks a little wonky and people start questioning the quality of the work that you do just because of what they see here. You also want to check for typos because if you can't make it look good on your highlight reel, why would you ever, ever make it look good on the job? So again, you can copy that and you can have several different copies, like Adira here has a retail copy that she uses. And now you can even share it. So you click here, you can click share. Let's say you've got a career job coach that you're working with. Maybe you're working with Goodwill or Workforce Solutions and you want them to take a look at it. You can have them share this link and whatever comments they're making and any changes they're making, they'll make it right there, but you'll see those highlighted. So you can undo those. Remember the arrow I showed you or redo? It works on all Google tools. And you can do this if they have some suggestions on ways to really optimize your resume, okay? Make sense to everybody? Any questions? All right, so remember to get resume feedback, you can also download it as a PDF, keeping the integrity of the settings that you have so it looks just as well laid out as it should. Now, you can also use Gmail if you're using a free Google or a free Gmail account, and you can set this up to actually send that resume, and this walks you through the steps of how you would attach that, you use this, um, paper clip icon here to go ahead and attach it if you decide to send it as a PDF, okay? So you just see that in front of you. You want to take a quick screenshot. I'm not going to go over this too in depth, but if you've got questions, stop me and let me know, okay? So again, now you can put those resume links. Remember what I said about sharing it. So let's say I made this fabulous resume for being a sales director. Now I can click share here. And I can share it either with a person or I can copy the link here. So if I copy this link, now I can go back to my job search tool. And let's say this was um, re the resume I sent in because I want to know what resume I put with that. And now I can just put this in here if I want. Okay, so I can copy and paste it. If you double click the arrow here, it gets as wide as whatever you just left in there. All right, whatever you put in that cell could do that so I know exactly what resume is there for each one that I've applied to. Then I'm on the same page literally if somebody reaches out to me to interview. I don't have to wonder what I sent it. Make sense? Now what I do encourage people to do, remember what I said about keeping everything together and really optimizing your time. So this is making you as effective to be able to get to those, to those opportunities. And that is put a one sheet, use a Google Doc, show you here what you're going to do you're going to use the google doc so you'll click my drive new google doc and i'm going to say blank and this is ria's can't spell it's blocked by my sorry it's blocked by my camera stand so i can't even see what i'm doing ria's work history okay and i just do a complete brain dump of everything that I've ever done, all my work history, all of the, the, the times, the phone numbers, the email addresses, the um, actual addresses, names of the companies, who my supervisor was, who will give me a recommendation, their contact information, who's given me permission to share them as a recommendation. I put all of that here. It is a brain dump. And the reason I do that is when opportunity strikes, I want to be ready. And that is where luck happens, right? Is when opportunity and preparedness meet. And you are now going to be prepared because you've got a brain dump of all of your experiences. And now you can say, all right, for a marketing director, I'm going to pull this experience and this so I could have you know 15 20 different experiences here I'm gonna pull this experience I'm gonna pull this these people are great for recommendations so I'm gonna pull these four people because they know exactly what it's like to work for me to work as a marketing director or a sales director okay so now I'm actually customizing it to the job that I'm applying to and making it look like I really fit there they can see me at that workplace make sense so you can do that brain dump to get over all the emotion. You've got everything here and you don't have to worry about searching it. You can now start applying. So you've searched, you start applying. You now from the resume, you get asked to come to an interview and you can do that on Google Meet. You can get to Google Meet by using this URL at the bottom left-hand corner. Remember what I said, it is just like Zoom. It works just like it with some other little nuances. But what's important, no matter what tool you use, when you're doing an interview, know exactly where the camera eye is. Here in the United States, 
it is very important that you make eye contact. Without eye contact, people feel like you're not trustworthy or that you don't have a lot of confidence in what is it that you do, or maybe you're not even telling the truth. And so it's very important. So I'm looking right new to you directly now in my webcam. But as I look at my webcam, there actually is a little light to the side here. So see what happens when I start looking to the light to the side because it's distracting me. I see that light and I'm looking straight at it. It's built into the actual camera, but I know where the lens is. The lens is right here. Here. It is not where the light is. So it's important for you to look directly towards the camera, speak slowly and clearly because there's a lot of fade that goes in and out, especially depending on where the, what their audio setup is. Pay attention to lighting. So, you know, back in 2020 when we all were thrown back home, my office, my home office is actually at the corner of a room. So the window's way over there. I'm not getting any natural light, but I had to bring natural light in, especially as we move to more remote and video meetings. So I've got a loom cube. I've actually got two loom cubes. The ring light doesn't do anything for me. It just looks like these little beams of light coming and reflecting off my eyes. So the loom cubes are what I use, which is nice because I can move those wherever I go. And you want to look at your lighting. Maybe work with that with your job coach too and reach out to the team members at the Workforce Solution and also Goodwill because they can support you and help you show and really give you feedback exactly where there might be shadows. Choose a neutral background. Always look behind you. By now, we've all been on a video call where you've seen something you did not want to see. You can no longer unsee spouses coming out of bathrooms, cats walking across tables, unmade beds, and you've had feelings about that. You may have thought a coworker or somebody that you were talking to was really amazing, but not that unmade bed in the background. So get dressed professionally, dress for that work, right? So dress for that. And most of the time people knew me in corporate America, I am the suit woman. But because I'm a Google trainer, Google is t-shirts and jeans. I'm going to dress to match exactly that I fit into that location and it looks like that I'm the pers perfect person for them. And then also practice, all right? Because practice, practice, practice will help you feel comfortable and help you also know exactly where you can find things on your actual Google Meet hamburger menu. So that's menu at the very bottom, how you can get around to that. All right, so a recap is use Sheets to start the tracking. That is your job search and your research center. Now you can go to search and start filling that job search research center with information. You can go to Google Docs and start customizing your resume and really putting together what is a good fit. So even though I'm a fan of using LinkedIn, I, I like to use it as refer back to LinkedIn because you can see all the awesome recommendations that I get there, but I don't like to use it as the resume because I can't customize it for every job. There's a big difference if I'm going for, let's say, the marketing director compared to, let's say, I'm going for sales trainer. It's a big difference of the experience that I'll bring up. They'll see everything on LinkedIn, but I don't want somebody who only has six to seven seconds to look at a resume to force them to read my everything to find out what's important. When you do that, you lose opportunity. A lot of people realize, okay, this is taking too long and I've got 40 other applicants, I'm just gonna go on. And that's where you do lose opportunity. And then of course, Google Meet. Use that and become familiar with this because it's a free tool that you have with all of your Google accounts, regardless if you're interviewing on you know, a Microsoft Teams or if you're using Zoom or wherever they're meeting, still the best practices that you learn here will serve you whenever you do a video interview. Make sense? All right, any questions, let me know in the question box because I want to know what your next steps are. Knowledge is not powerful until it is applied. So that's what I'm asking you next, <coughs> excuse me, is what is it that you're going to apply? You just spent about 45 minutes, almost 47 minutes of your life with me and you need to be able to invest that and show that you've gotten something that you can now apply. So what is it? Are you going to start creating a job search tracker? Are you going to use Google's job search and really use Google's power to bring you the information? Are you going to look at the resume templates and set that up or maybe play in Google Drive? Maybe you'll practice interviewing with Google Meet and you'll consider, you know, again, other positions and other professional workshops to help you even take you deeper into honing up your digital skill set. All right. So I see some people already started using the Google search and Google Sheets. Awesome. Oh, I'm excited to see you applying that. That's awesome, everybody. Definitely use the job search tracker. Awesome. Awesome. It makes it so much easier. I will tell you that of all those that we interviewed in the first, who applied in the first 14 minutes, all of them had used something, be it a sheet or their own, you know, their own, um, you know, if they're using a, a different product, 
they used something where they brain dumped everything and they had everything ready to go because they the ones that stood out were the custom resumes any resume that was long or that was a you know a real convoluted like linkedin profile didn't get looked at so yep use the templates right google sheets job tracker google search job search absolutely use that tool because i love getting the alerts i don't have time to start looking at things and i don't have i don't want to be unfocused because i'm easily distracted when i see something else over here and i like keeping everything focused this way it keeps the opportunities and the ability to apply to more opportunities there all right all right now we've covered a lot so let me go over the resources here thank you so much for sharing what you're going to do next because it's really important that we apply what we learn if you want to learn more reach out to the google partner who invited you you can also go to google's youtube channel which is youtube.com grow with google and you can see what the latest updates are on anything especially if you want to learn any skill sets <clears throat> if you want to get an actual certificate you can also go and get a Google Career Certificate. These are recognized by over 3,000 employers and universities. Let me see about the jobs in Google search. I use about 15 different sites to job search. Now I can use just one. Absolutely, everything there. I mean, really, over 4,500 sites are actually dropped into Google search every day. Let the Google bot work for you, right? It can do that. Then, of course, remember what I said. You can go to this google.com slash bro or just reach out to the Google partner who invited you and they will help you either with your next questions or whatever other training that you want or any specifics or anything that you wanted reviewed. And if you haven't already, make sure you comment in that question box because you will get a copy of today's recording 24 hours from now, so around this time tomorrow, and then also a copy of today's slides at the same time, okay, what, to whatever email that you registered with for the, the actual session, okay? All right, so let's see what questions you have. Um, if you wanna connect with me, you can find me on all socials, but you can also find me here. You're welcome to connect with me here, but truly get with a Google partner that invited you because they are going to bring in the trainings that are most relevant to you. This actually has all the trainings here at this URL that I do. Now let's go to questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.